Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and I decided to do a video that I should have done for this discussion video because today we're going to be talking about physical media versus digital online streaming. Yeah, that's the case. We're going to be doing this new video. Where I'm going to be discussing about the difference between physical media and online streaming service ones. Because I'm talking like you're owning a physical copy, whether it's on VHS, DVD, or Blu-ray, or Laserdisc, as well as 4K Ultra HD, as well as online streaming services. Like, when I mean online streaming services, you know what I mean, like Apple TV, or Roku, or like Tubi, or Netflix, Voodoo, Movies and TV app, as well as um, Pluto TV, stuff like that. You know what I mean. Oh, same goes with Crackle as well. If that counts as well. So the real question is is that why the there are the things between physical media versus digital online streaming services. And that's the case of how you want to know about this. I would like to learn the fact about this whole thing with physical media and the the online streaming ser services as well. Yeah, like Netflix and stuff like that as well. I mean, if you're a movie collector, and if you have a lot on VHS or DVDs or Blu-rays, 4K Ultra HDs and Laserdiscs, then you you be feel lucky to have a physical media collection, especially you wanted to take the cake of how you want to start getting into the whole physical media collecting as well. Hey, I like physical media. I have no problem with collecting physical media because I think I started collecting physical media. Like, I started collecting, like, VHS tapes back in, I believe, 2006 all the way to 2007, at, which is the reason I haven't gotten a VHS tape since 2007, which the last VHS I recently used to have was... Uh, the 1991 Black Diamond Edition VHS of the Jungle Book, along with other Disney movies on VHS from with the Black Diamond logo label and the Masterpiece Collection title editions on VHSs. But they were low on shelf space because due to the th fact... But I end up kind of... as I mean, I used to have a lot of movies on VHSs as well, but I haven't been collecting in a... VHS in a while. No, it doesn't mean I'm stopped collecting VHS. No, it's not the case. Is that the point I'm trying to make? Is that I haven't been buying a VHS tape in a while. You know what I mean? As I haven't been getting a VHS tape since the last VHS tape that I got was 2016, which was my anime VHS of Akira that I have in my anime collection. Now that I mentioned as well, which I was going to show you. For physical media of how the thing goes. Yeah, what I mean, phys owning a physical copy, meaning like this, if you could get on D VHS or on DVD with a Blu ray, as well as a 4K Ultra HD, is probably in the many cases as well. It's from what you know about this. If you want to look, there is also double feature movies like that were on. These two disc ones, like as the so called double features, is whatever you want to call that. Now that you want to know, like you can find this at your local DVD bin at your local Walmart. Like this one I have is the John Wayne double feature two DVD disc set that I have right here. Like this one, yeah, it's probably in the case, is how they use two discs like this. And then they had to make these images like this as well. As it's, and yeah, it's a two-disc set. You can watch two of these movies. Like, if you want a double feature movie night, as well as your movie marathon at, at this point as well. For the point is that, I mean, I haven't been buying VHS tapes in a while. I mean, that's pr pr pretty much... What, which I'll put these back in just a moment during the discussion of how collecting physical media gets as well. I mean, the last VHS tape that I got was 2016, 
which was my VHS copy of Akira that I showed you earlier in my anime collection. And let's also discuss Blu-rays as well. Speaking of Blu-ray, now that you mention of how the reason why everybody's doing for digital streaming services instead of physical, now that I mention my first Blu-ray that I got back in like 2000 and I believe 10, 17, I think that was back in Jan either February or January, I think so. Yeah, this was actually... I did got a, a Blu-ray, which is actually my first Blu-ray, which is this, which was The Last Unicorn, the Enchanted Edition from Shop Factory. Yeah, because I had a, this was only like a dollar at the library book sale, as from what I know. Yeah, but that's just how it is as well. And that got me thinking. And also, the first anime that I got on Blu-ray is... I get you guessed it how I wanted to know is that the first anime that I have on Blu-ray is about that I recently got at a thrift store which is Berserk Golden Age Arc Movie 1 on Blu-ray which is actually my first anime on Blu-ray that I bought as well yeah I mean if you want to watch there's if you have streaming services and you're not, and you don't collect that much physical media copies just because you move to like online streaming service so online streaming ones there is Netflix because you know online streaming is basically still a thing of how the most part of how everyone even though I don't have a Netflix account I mean I should have but that's just how it is well I used to have Netflix on a PS4 but I mean on my PS3, actually, when my old PS3 died out, which was back in 2014, which I remember. I mean, despite that, you know, Netflix just removes your favorite movie, your TV show, or your anime off of them. Like, they want to put in newer titles. But if you have it in your collection, like you own a physical copy, hey, you don't have no problem complaining about this. But that's the thing of how... You want to have a physical media thing of how it goes. Well, I may like watching anime on Crunchyroll or Tubi as well. Tubi TV as well. I'll probably take a look at Tubi TV, like a first impressions on Tubi TV at some point, which I'll show you in for the most part as well. But anyway, so back to what I'm saying is though that well, you could watch movie. Yeah, Tubi TV is kind of like Netflix. But it's only for free because, you know, Netflix, you have to register your account. And you, if you want to get Netflix on your PlayStation 4 and you want to watch them and all, as well as those VOD, video on demand streaming ones as well. And also, you want to buy a movie or a TV or an episode from a TV show or an anime movie on YouTube movies as well. Like if you could buy or rent, that's that's on you. That's but that's just how it is. Just because you stop collecting physical media and you're moving to like streaming services of how we've done this thing is how you are into the thing is that the whole thing about you prefer about the difference between collecting physical copies and digital str online streaming services like these VOD video on demand type things as well because you know online streaming sites are basically still a thing well to me I kind of like both though because that's how the, I'm into the whole multimedia thing in those days yeah that's just how it is as well so that's the thing for how you want to know about the physical media and online streaming services as well. I mean, even though I do have Fantasia on both VHS, the Deluxe Commemorative Edition box set, which is right there, but right next to my Billy bookcase, IKEA Billy bookcase that I got on Let Go back in 2018, where I have my anime collection and other 
her movies on DVDs and Blu-rays that are there. Even though I also have Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 on DVD, you can watch them on Disney Plus as well. I mean, if you ever have a Disney Plus account or a Hulu account, in in many other ways, is how the only and also you if you want a movie, you can get it also on iTunes. Like, doesn't matter if you get like a an episode of, from, of your favorite TV series or an anime or a movie on iTunes in the whole particular sort of thing, so to speak. And that's just how you want to know of how the whole thing with physical media and digit online streaming sites as well, especially the services. If you have it on your Roku TV or Apple TV or PS4, Xbox One, or, or on your, yeah, Vizio, oh, oh, 4K Ultra HD TV as well. But I noticed that's basically of how, I'm giving in the points of how the pros and cons is how, I mean, if you like, if you're moving to online streaming services and you got rid of your physical media collection, especially if your DVD or VHS or Blu-ray or Laserdisc or 4K Ultra HD collection, and you want to sell it and all, but that's just how it is as well, or in, or as in got rid of as well, so to speak. But that's how I'm given the point of how it's given in as well. But that's just how it is, what it is as how. But in what if, like, if, you, if your movie, if you're watching your favorite movie on Netflix and it says ends the next week on every month on there and they put a newer title in and and then just because Netflix removes a movie as or a TV show or anime it doesn't matter or a documentary it doesn't matter of how the, the thing goes by of how you're watching a online streaming but if you have a physical media collection like your DVD, VHS, Laserdisc, Betamax, Blu-ray, Laserdisc and 4K Ultra HD collection hey you don't see me complaining because even though I like physical media more because that's the thing I like about physical media as, as particularly a lot more an enjoyment to own and you whenever you're ready and whenever you feel like you want to watch something that you've got or what you want to rewatch as your choice whether if you have a movie marathon or watching rewatching your favorite TV show or an anime as well as watching an anime marathon like especially from your anime collection like right here as well as more right there yeah that'll give you more time of how you're you're into the whole collecting physical media as well because that's probably in the case of how I'm learning the discussion about physical media and online digital stream, online streaming service ones as well. So that's going to be it for this video for today. Thank you for watching. But before we go, here's my thoughts I want to say for this video. Because if you want to know for this, because to be honest, I really like physical media more because I think it's better to own a physical media as as it was to watching it for on those online streaming service ones you know like Netflix and stuff like that but that's just how it is Hope to subscribe for content my anime file link in the description down below you can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media be sure to give this video by a thumbs up by smacking the like button on this video feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below which was better physical media or online streaming services in the comments below be sure to subscribe to my channel feel free to join my channel especially if you're new to my channel hit the notifications bell button be sure to get notified as well and that's all i gotta say because this is going to be my new discussion for today this is ruroni k95 saying thank you for watching my video and i'm glad you liked it and i hope you enjoyed it. hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day and happy memorial day this is ruroni k95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos, and Happy Memorial Day, everyone.